what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel i know it's been a little while uh we took a little bit of a break on the channel because i'm going through a promotion at work so a lot of the time has been dedicated over there uh but this next upcoming week i've got off so i'm going to be binge recording trying to get a bunch of content out for you guys to make up for last week and right now we're jumping into the latest episode of jujutsu kaisen we got episode seven here i'm excited to see what goes down between mechamaru uh and all of his transformations in this battle i'm pretty excited to see where this goes especially after all the reveals in the last episode but yeah if you guys are excited for today's episode you're excited for this content to be pushed out like crazy uh drop a like on this video I, it supports me and gives me uh motivation to keep pushing out these videos and content for you guys uh but yeah without further ado we're jumping right in let's go what we got all right it's already going crazy this man is dodging he seems like he's having a good time oh that was right in the beginning okay that wasn't even the that wasn't even the finale of the last episode that was just when he blew up the, the ground yeah dude this mech is crazy i love how like in this show which obviously if you guys have watched the show you know that they put a little bit of like easter eggs from other uh shonen and other anime in it kind of like we've seen uh the spirit gun mentioned from yu haka show rasengan from naruto uh, Dodon Ray from Dragon Ball Z. We've got a lot of other like uh, like Easter eggs from other anime in this uh, where sh they show respect to other anime. And uh, Mecha, I feel like, doesn't really get that very often. So to see basically Mecha Maru, Mecha is literally in the name, uh, have like this like paying homage to Mecha anime, uh, I think it's pretty cool. I have not watched through like uh old, the old school gundam but i used to watch it here and there as a kid uh because it usually would come out around like right before like dragon ball z episodes i also really like mechamaru's like whole uh sorry to keep pausing and i just like to like break everything down and talk about how i feel about the episode but i really like how like his stored power that he had this entire time where he didn't have his body he can use to like supercharge like he's been ch charging this whole time so now he can dish out like the 17 years that he's been stuck in this like whole position. He can like actually use that now to get payback. I don't know where I don't know if we've gotten the information that uh, they have done this to him and they're just fixing him after they he did what they wanted or how he ended up in that position to begin with. But I'm sure we're going to be getting that soon. <laughs> Yeah, he's got to try and go get Gojo to help because they're kind of broken. Mojito, and you got Gato sitting on the side. And this is where we ended off. I'm assuming he dodged, didn't he? He's probably right off the side. Yep. Whoa, whoa, okay, he's transformed. Evening Festival, episode 31. Okay. This is a crazy fight that I didn't expect, man. I'm glad we're getting to see Mahito fight more because we really haven't seen him do too much. Which I wonder if we're going to see them pop up here because they were looking for Mechamaru. I love how they pay homage to other anime. Two years? Miracle Cannon. Oh my god, this man. Oh, he, do, he doing the Gear 3 shit again. Okay, what is that doing? So he has techniques that he activates. Is this man about to do a spear gun? What is that? What is that? Is that gonna explode? Oh my god, dude! God damn! With cursed energy inside? Like a cursed energy grenade? And then he kicked the shit out of him. Oh, holy shit. So he won't be able to regen that arm? Holy shit. I was gonna say he had to have dropped. Okay, he. he yeah. So he's. He, that makes sense because he can manipulate the soul. So he's making it seem like, hey, you didn't actually damage me, but that's just him stretching his soul out and reshaping the arm with his soul. But uh, he still took the heavy blow that he gave. Um, I think that's how it works. Uh, again, if I'm if I'm ever wrong, just drop it a comment and uh, correct me. That way, uh, I can have the correct information. So he, can he only go a certain distance with that link? 
the he's special grade class currently because of all the five years bro like one and two no that puts him down to nine years left this shit's crazy man he got like rainbow beams a rabbit i'm trying to keep up with what the okay now he's a rat now he's back to a human a gorilla back to a bird fucking spot what the fuck was that hold up hold up we're going back we're going back go back to those frames this man what the fuck is that a fuck he got eight arms and he's a bat hell that is wild oh no oh okay he's getting close oh uh, yeah so he doesn't know if he should like block it or dodge it so he's just trying to dodge them all because he doesn't know which attack that gets thrown out might actually impact his soul and body. Okay, you cut that headpiece off. Oh, and then he gets hit with his own attack. This is a very interesting fight. A mecha versus somebody that can shape his body however he wants. So he's on the good side, but he's being forced to do shit so they can get his body back. Just thank him. what the f okay this was this is in the opening whatever he's about to do what the fuck is happening i don't I, we're just going we're just going oh no self-embodiment of perfection he we have not seen him do his domain expansion this is not good we need gojo No, this is not good. Bro, this is fucking crazy. Gojo? Itadori? You can just do it if you're in his domain. Is he still about to do a technique? Is he about to like sacrifice himself to try and take him out or something? He's walking away like it's already finished. From others' domains. So he has a technique that allows him to fight in somebody else's domain without being affected? Hold up. I gotta I gotta read again. I, I, I'm sorry that I keep on pausing. It's a means for them to protect themselves from others' domains. So he couldn't be affected by the idol transfiguration from Mahito because of this technique that was passed down in the school that he went to. So Mahito thinks he's done and he already won, but he's still good to go. Yo! He didn't see it coming. New Shadow Star, simple domain. Did he just overwrite his domain with his own? What am I witnessing right now? What am I witnessing? What the hell is happening? Simple domain. Okay, what? Domain neutralizes all other techniques. Attacks will land even on... Yep, while, while they're made within the domain. Regardless of any techniques. So, even if it's, it's not a technique that hits his soul, it's still gonna do the damage as if it was because he's in the domain. Regardless of any techniques. Is he going? No shot is he going. Oh, he's going to try and take. Get, get, that's not happening, bro. He wants to see all those people. The original. There's one that was in it. Bro, what the hell? Yo, the animation starting to pick up. This is so sick, man. Oh, that's horrifying. It's just one, uh, like his original, like Mechamaru uh, that we knew before we saw his real body. He's like a fucking crocodile dragon thing. I don't know, man. I don't think, I think it's too late. 
There's a hot dog, some bunnies, scream. Okay. Okay, some fucked up stuff's gonna happen. That's the veil. Oh no. They're gonna like murder all of these people. What the fuck is happening? Okay, they, they found out about it. Oh shit. Oh my god. It's this man trying to be a little extra right now. Okay, who else we got there? Where's this Adoria? I'm assuming he's with Gojo? On standby. Here we got Panda. For grade one. Katsuya. Or Atsuya. So is Gojo on the inside? Bro, I just saw some, like, a bunch of bodies in a tornado. I don't think that's just normal. Oh, they're trying to bait Gojo into coming in there. Yeah. Oh, shit. Is that Gojo? Oh, shit. Oh, and they're ending right when Gojo... We haven't seen Itadori. We, we don't know where Itadori is. He wasn't in any of the groups, so I'm curious to see where if he's following behind Gojo or where the heck... What's going on there. Uh, the first half of this episode was completely insane, especially some of the frames that like went by in like an, an instant. Um, it, it, like Mahito had like six or eight arms and he was like a bat and he was just changing every two seconds into another animal, um, which is all quick paced during that fight. Um, I feel really bad for Mechamaru, especially when it shows uh, them wanting to like be closer with him. Uh, right at the moment where we, we haven't seen him dead we were just he's presumed dead so he might survive but i i don't know i haven't read any of the manga or anything like that um so i wouldn't be surprised if later on he, he is salvaged or surprised or like even if it's like spirit or something is put into like the actual mechamaru itself um but overall very good episode i'm curious to see what the shibu the shibu bleh. I'm curious to see what the Shibuya arc actually is. I, I all I've heard is like crazy things and how this arc is going to be really good. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, this episode, drop a like on this video. Drop a sub if you guys haven't already and you guys want to stay up to date with all the content I'm posting. I know last week was a little bit slower, but like I said in the beginning of this video, we're going to be banging out a bunch of content. We got Bleach, we got Jujutsu Kaisen, we got One Piece, One Punch Man, a bunch of anime bunch of new stuff coming soon uh but yeah i'll see you guys in the next reaction peace